Good morning and welcome to the No Full Live Show. Happy New Year. It is the start of 2024 and we are so excited for a brand new season um, of conversations and everything about the North Fork. Typically we start our New Year's show, at least we have the last couple of years, um, talking about our word of the year, which both Tracy and I have. And last night we hosted um, a vision board working make shop, which was along the same lines of taking some time out and pausing and reflecting on what we want our goals in life um, to look like in 24. I know that a lot of people have mixed feelings about resolutions um, and I kind of feel the same way because when I make a resolution or in the past when I have, it always felt like um, it lasted a couple of days, weeks maybe, and then pressure to kind of keep up with it or not keep up with it. So I really gravitate towards the word of the year because it's just something to come back to um, and recenter based on what you're looking for this year. Um, when I'm, while I'm waiting for Tracy to join us, a little bit of the weather report. We didn't have a white Christmas, but it does look like it may, may snow this weekend. I don't know. There's a big storm coming to the East Coast. Whether the North Fork gets it or misses it, I don't know. Oh, Tracy see, doesn't see the join button. Okay, hold on, Tracy. Let me see. Um, but I'm hoping that we get some flurries, and if we do, they may just be briefly passing because, like I said, based on the storm tracker, we may or may not get any. Good morning, Tracy. How are you? I see you're trying to join, and um, Instagram is giving us some tech. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. I don't know why it did, it's not giving me the little button to join today. Instagram so decided it, it's 2024, so it's it's doing its own thing. <laughs> Yes, yes. It's punishing oh. me for uh, sleeping through the last show and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so yeah, last yeah, year, Tracy. <laughs> on during New Year's. I think, I don't know if it's the Wi-Fi or something, there's a slight delay with you, but I'm glad you're here. How are you feeling this morning? I know last night was so fun, but I'm definitely moving a little slower because... <laughs> you know, I... I am not moving slower. I actually woke up with like a spring in my step because of our workshop and I feel like uh, I have more um, direction and I'm feeling I'm feeling ready to like tackle the day. Maybe it's also because it's Friday, but <laughs> I guess I guess it is the end of the week. Um, I think we've shared it a couple of times, but maybe it's worth sharing again. For 2024, we are trying something new or, or something to add on to what we do every Friday. We are trying what we are calling No Full Live on location. Um, and it won't be frequent. It'll be a couple of times a year, maybe once a quarter if we can pull it off. But just an opportunity for Tracy and I to step away from the screens and be able to connect with all our viewers and our guests in person. Yeah. So last night, we kicked off our first... No for Live of the Year for 2024, and it was a vision board making workshop. So Tracy, what do you want to share about well, that? What I loved is many people who attended last night were saying, oh, I'm so glad you did this. I'm so glad you did it like the first week of the year. And what they don't know is that we actually have been planning this for an entire year. <laughs> well, well, because we were going to do it last year right because that but was we, the original we couldn't get our act together last year <laughs> it was and then it just kept time kept going and then we we're like do we do it in march is that weird and so it, it really was an entire year in the making um and i'm really glad we got our butts in gear and we did it because everybody we sold out um we had 24 people there last night and a lot of people who were able to put a face to the instagram tag um, which was really fun. That, so it was I'm, really nice. Yes, and a yeah. shout out to VMA Studios, Verona and Melissa for hosting us. What a great venue. If you haven't been there yet, you have to go. Just simply walking in the door brings out the artist in you. Like, it was just such, a, the way that they've created the space, um, everything is very intentional. And whether you recognize it or not, you will you're you will recognize it. You know, it's even like I don't know if you noticed Anita back in that back classroom, all of the shirts that of were hanging. Oh yeah. yeah. I oh mean, just in the blue. Yeah. yeah. There's I, so much like, detail. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. 
they they, they have the um they have this amazing concept that i just resonated with immediately as they talked about it it's called the art bar and the idea is that the studio slash workshop is open all the time and they have a menu of items you can walk up to the bar which is the counter and select whether it's painting or drawing or pottery whatever strikes your mood and then you do that particular creative class um, and it's so awesome for it to be on demand so if you're kind of having a winter blue day or you just need to change your perspective or if you have girlfriends over and you want to do something fun um, and creative I think they they offer so much yeah. they have something and I've been gravitating towards that they also have something called the studio membership where you can just pay for the month or pay for three months and you can drop in any time and create anything I think that's, that's so really wonderful cool. I know I mean from from a creative artist standpoint it's so amazing but also from a businesswoman standpoint i am so impressed so impressed with what they've got going there and it clearly is filling a need because i oh. i hear so many people talking about it and and you know when we showed up last night to set up there was there was people in there that I, were, I, it made me so happy to see people there doing it was great it's a great location it's right on main street in greenport you know and all of us want at least many of us want an escape from our everyday busyness and it's hard to kind of make a space in your own home but as soon as you walk in there like you said you already start to feel the zen vibe so i mean they have tea and coffee i'm sure verona and melissa will welcome you to just come chat sit have a coffee. Yes. You don't even have to create anything. I'm going to take my book and read there. <laughs> I, I, you know, yes. okay. So the vision board workshop was great. Well, Do we want? Let, let's talk first, about our let's, words. First, let's ask if you are watching right now and you were at the class last night. Please comment and say hello and and tell us what you thought of it. Um, we'd love to just connect again because. I, what, the one thing we didn't do, which we will start doing again, is we forgot to do name tags. And what I want to do, I'm just saying this now so that we remember, I want to put people's Instagram tags on the name tag as well so that we can make the connection. Because we see you all joining here and we definitely notice if you're joining multiple times. So it's great when we're meeting you in person, but we're meeting you Lauren, you know, but then we want to know what your Instagram hat tag is so that we can, you know, associate with you when you when you jump on yeah. the show. But um, I think we should show people our words quickly. And then I think we should talk about our word of the year. How do you feel about that? Okay. You cut out in the last sentence because your Wi Fi is going a little. So say the last sentence again. I said, I think we should show people our board. Oh, yes. Okay. And then I think we should tell people our word of the okay. year. Okay. Do you want to go first? Because I'm going to move this because I just realized that was like a weird shot. Or at least I'm only seeing part of my grandfather and it's a weird part of my grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Welcome I mean, I can show people. Well, this, is, this is my grandfather. He's in the photo behind me. I have other photos of my grandmothers um, here. They're all these like really cool retro beach pictures, but they're of my family. But I really... is my vision board um i we what we did is we provided a list of questions for people to um kind of st thought starters and i personally had never done a vision board before so this was really a unique and fun experience for me and what came out which i didn't realize was going to come out is that i really want to i mean i knew i wanted to work on my backyard but I really want to make it a place where the feeling that I have when I go to Tulum or Fire Island, which are my two favorite places to vacation, I want to have that same feeling here in the backyard. I feel um, like you actually found something that says that or yeah. represents that. I, yeah. at I did. Yeah. I did. That's I so found cool. all these things like beauty in your backyard. And I found like, uh, your own slice of happiness and vacation vibes right outside your door. Yes. So I found a lot of stuff like that. And then this part, I really didn't know. We all know that I love to clean and tidy up. Like I'm huge on that, but I, I apparently really want to declutter. I really want, I, I kept gravitating towards the, the word simple, which isn't my word for the year, but I'm going to marinate on that for a while. Um, I just, I just really want 
a simple life, which kind of goes with what my word of the year is. My word of the year this year is pause because I just feel so chaotic um, in the role of primary um, financial responsibility in my household, as well as mother to a toddler and business owner. I feel chaotic, which is reasonable with those three things. But uh, my goal this year is to try to find moments of pause in between the chaos. Um, and, and then my other main thing was, as I've been talking about on Instagram, is just getting back to my health routine. And, uh, and Sunita actually found this and brought it over to me and I included it. Healthy resolutions are easier with a buddy. Yay. <laughs> You know, what's interesting as you're browsing through magazines, and one of the things that over the years of doing the vision board, I've realized is, yes, you know, we have questions that prompt you to think about the kind of life you want. But the nice thing about a vision board that just evolves is you start flipping through visual images in magazines. And even though you know what you think you're looking for, it's interesting how things jump out at you and you go, yeah. oh, look at that. I want that. So it's almost your subconscious mind working, right? And the reason I point that out is I know that you like everything clean and perfect and organized, and that's probably why you need to pause because you do a lot. Yeah. But one of the things that struck me in your vision board is that you had a little piece that said that the tasks can wait or something yeah. like that. So the you're chores, kind of- The fun. chores can wait. The chores, the chores can, can wait, can yeah. Wait. And it just made me smile because I know you're the kind of person that's like, let's do everything. Yeah. And let's, ha you know, even with a little child, you're cleaning up every time after or were. I don't know how you're doing. No, I am. Hard. I still am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the fact that you're, you're something is calling you to take a pause and say, it's okay. The chores can wait. You'll still clean it and it'll still oh, be I will. It just well, doesn't have think, to be done that second. I think that's that's why why this sort of decluttering came out because i also put calm and clean clean and calm and so what i've realized through therapy is that the reason i like things so tidy is that that feels calm to me it takes away the chaos which of course that means i have to constantly be tidying however if i if i minimalize some things so i came out of that workshop going we're getting rid of everything i'm getting rid of everything like I want to, I want to go through each part of my house and be like, do I really need this many dishes? How many people do I have over at once? No. Okay. Donate them. How many toys does Tilly really need? Is she playing with these anymore? Okay. She's not playing with these donate. Like I just want to make it easier for me to clean so that there isn't as much clutter and that I don't have to take as much time doing it because I know it does make me feel calmer if things are tidy. Um, but I don't want to spend all my time doing that. I want to take time to pause. So I well, also, this is really, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. I was going to say one other okay. thing that I noticed okay. that is part really interesting. Secret. You go, 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 go. <laughs> part of the secret, part of the secret in getting to the clean is also the calm, which is why it's interesting that you put clean and calm because does the calm come after? Can it come during? Can it come before? Can the calm sustain, you know, no matter whether your house is clean or not clean in this very moment. So very to me, that was very interesting that you pulled that phrase out. That is interesting. Another two things I want to point out. Um, one thing I, I, I put this bedroom here, which is all the neutrals. And for a long time, this account, my account started as like a home decor account and I was very into neutrals. And then recently I started incorporating a little bit more color. And I have to tell you, when I walked back into my home last night, I had an aversion to the color that I put in it because I, my house is very small and that's fine for us, but I feel like having this neutral palette makes it feel calmer. Like, I think I wanna just go back to all neutrals because it makes me feel calmer when I'm in my space. Um, <clears throat> which is interesting because I really thought I was going in the other direction, um, which you talked a lot about the color thing. But my one last thing I'll say is that I found this quote that I loved. Nutrition is the most underutilized preventative medication, and it is also the most effective. Wow. And because I'm on this, like, I really need to look at my health i mean where where i am right now that is really frustrating is I'm, I'm in menopause i was in menopause before i had tilly 
So my body is like, what the actual F is happening? And um, I am falling prey to so many things I see on Instagram of like, oh, this diet pill or this tea or this, that. And I'm like buying everything, <laughs> it's ridiculous. And I need, and I just need to stop and remember that a clean, healthy diet is the best medication out there. I, when I found that, I was like, oh my gosh, yes. Just get back to the basics. Get back so to interesting basics. that what, what you were doing is trying to buy all the stuff and find the diet. But what jumped out at you is this quote, which, you know, that's what I was talking about is you think you, you, you know, or at least these are the stories we tell ourselves of this is what I like. But then when you see a visual and you're attracted to that, then you're like, hold on a minute. I mean, yeah. you know, how do you make the two work? And that's a really interesting part of the, um, vision board creation. And I think that's why images are important as you flip through because you can, you you have so split, like I'm just flipping page after page. So you almost have a split second to decide, is anything calling my yeah. name here? And so you don't have enough time to tell all the stories that, you know, I'm not skinny and I'm not this as you just immediately gravitate towards that. So I love that you found, you know, and the only, the one thing I want to say about your board is it also looks beautiful. It's not, <laughs> It's not just a random assortment of things. You, in the minute, in the amount of time we had, not only did you pick a whole bunch of things, but you also made it look pretty. So good for well, you. And I, I, you know, it's funny because I also added this leap of faith, which I, in my mind, I was like, it doesn't go with anything else, like Pinterest wise. I was like, it doesn't match. It's blue. And it's, and like, what does that mean in relation to all the other things? But like, when I went to go, put it in the discard pile, I simply couldn't. I simply couldn't. And I was like, okay, this is calling me, leap of faith. I don't know in what direction yet, but apparently I need to take a leap of faith. There's a couple of things running through my mind, but I, I, more will be revealed. I'm gonna go grab my board. I felt that way about one of the, um, one of the quotes. So I've made a vision board a couple of, a few years in a row or you know, for many years. And so it's interesting because I do have a few of my older ones. And in in the process of getting ready for this, I was looking at them and just the progression or the, the visual representation how of how I have evolved is amazing to me. And people that have known me in my past life, in my non-North Fork life, I was a lot more louder, a lot more energy, not energetic, but a lot more, you know, busier, busier than this. Um, and very colorful. Everything I wore was color. My house, every room in my house was a different color. My kitchen was orange. My living room was yellow. My dining room, it was called Million Dollar Red by Benjamin Moore, like the best color you can buy. Even the painter was like, really, do you want to paint it red? And after I did, he would send pictures to everybody going, you know, everybody should paint the room red. Um, that being said, and also I was busy raising kids, now I'm in a different season of my life, living next to the beach and watching sunsets that has brought so much calmness into my life, even though I'm, I'm still a fast talker. Inside, I'm a lot calmer. And my vision board totally, I feel, reflects the calmness that I feel within, you know? Yes. And it's much more minimalistic. In my word of the year, which that's what I have this space here for, is courage. And part of that is not necessarily, I feel like I've always tell myself that I'm a brave person and I'm always willing to try new things, but it's more the courage to be who you are and, mm -hmm. and just not let fear stop you from doing all the things you wanna do. Like, I think I've shared a couple of times I struggled with claustrophobia. And so over the years, it's kind of prevented me from flying places or doing normal things. I mean, I do them, but it's a struggle. So now I want to take over. I want, to, I, I read this quote, I think Verona actually posted it about courage. And it simply in a poet, in a poem, it said, let courage take over. So I feel like when I get to a decision making point and when I'm feeling like, mm, I don't know, I want to lead with courage and let courage take over whatever phase that may come in. So that's my word. And that I think is helping with my polar bear plunges because believe me, I am the most reluctant polar bear you will meet. I mean, it's getting better.
but it's hot. It's cold. It's well, and, and actually, I know that to be true because I know we've gone swimming together in like July, and you've said, mm -hmm. "Oh, I won't go in unless it's warm." I'm not a water person. I'm yeah. a beach person. I'm on the side <laughs> of the water person. I want to be by the water, not in the water. I don't go in water that I can't stand in. I mean, it has to be shallow enough. So there's so many hurdles, right? But I find myself continually being drawn to it because it's pushing the boundaries of what I tell myself that I can do. Mm -hmm. And even now when I go some days, it's really cold. I come right back out and then I'm mad at myself because why can't everybody else do it and why can't I, you know? And so I keep pushing that boundary and it, it's, I'm reaping the rewards I can't even explain or I'm not even aware of the ways in which I'm reaping the rewards. Yeah. I don't want to talk about health benefits because I don't know if there are any or aren't. But from a mental health perspective, it's amazing. And then the tribe of people you meet, I mean, there's just so many layers of beauty when you try something that's outside of your comfort zone. Well, it has been inspiring to watch you less from the perspective of the polar bear part. Yes, that is fun. And I, I do enjoy doing that from time to time, but more from the fact that, you know, you openly share that this is outside your comfort zone and you're doing it anyway. And that's been inspiring. And, and I, I, I want to be clear, some days I'm not because I'm not able to or because, so I don't want to make it seem like, yeah, I'm, I'm doing it, but I'm also kind of, I don't know if the word is struggling, but it's okay. And I'm okay with it. I don't need to be, um, you know, I don't need to have conquered it. I just need to show up is, is what my boundary is. Um, and so what the quote that, one of the quotes that resonated with me is, I mean, obviously I live by the beach and it's beautiful that we end up at the North Fork, but the quote that it read to me was, don't just enjoy where you live, enjoy how you got here. Yes, I love it. And that. I feel like a lot of people, or myself included, have this destination that we want to get to, and once we get there, we'll be happy. And I guess I'm learning in my advanced age is the journey itself is ends up being more important than the destination. So I'm trying to savor all that I have done in life or all the years that have happened in life that have led me to this point that I'm able to live the life that I'm trying to create today. Mm. So I'm really grateful for the 50 plus years, you know, of whatever else I was doing before. And then like you, Tracy, I too want to get back to my healthy routine. And I was trying to find a yoga. We didn't have any yoga magazines, but there was this gorgeous woman sitting there with her beach bag. And I'm thinking, that's a representation of me wanting to get healthy again. <laughs> To just um, color in the hair. <laughs> yeah, I may, have to, I may have to dye it blonde, but I'll deal with the color I have. Um, and then I'm, if you've seen me out, you know I show up in sweatpants or whatever I'm wearing. And very rarely am I pulled together, quote unquote. You were but it's quite pulled I, together last night, I must say. Very rarely. I right? love, <laughs> love that little jumpsuit you had oh, on. Thank you. It was, I really like that jumpsuit. The only thing I was telling um, Melissa, I said, I also read this quote once and yesterday I, it came true. It says, you know, everybody loves a jumpsuit when you wear it, but then when you have to go to the bathroom, it's just you and the choices you make. And I was in there and just, it was in my head. And I was like, yep. So, so maybe I, this is my, my um, vision. This is I my vision board. Absolutely freaking love it. But, but, but next to it, it says, love your natural self. But to me, this is kind of natural because I love linen. I think 90% yeah. of my clothing is linen. 90% of my sheets are linen. Like I just, I'm gravitating towards. And if I pulled out one of my older boards, I'll show you the fact that this is all beige and neutral tone is incredible to me because I can't believe that this is what I've evolved to. And I'm happy. Which is I was happy. So funny because I only know Long Island, Sunita. <laughs> and you i always picture you in like i think you have a pair of linen overalls do you possibly i'm sure yeah. i do yeah and and like there's there's a couple of like linen outfits that you have and when i think of you you know getting dressed up to go to an event that's what i think of you in is these linen olive linen so let me show you and this is only 2021 before i moved here this is the outfit that was on there yeah. You see the floral dress? I mean, that's colorful. There's no linen on it. And then years before that, there was this woman on a boat in pink, in color. Yeah. And today it's in beige. And then there was a year where I was so foodie related. Yeah. So there was a lot of food stuff. And then this is when I was like, oh, I need some house plants. But what's interestingly is 
90% of all of that is what I'm currently living. So that's really great. Yeah. Um, and then the, the one interesting thing, well, I also put this resonated with me, which was eat local, drink local. And to me, it represented not that I want to grow my own food, but I want to make sure that I spend more time at the local farms that are growing local food and eating seasonally. So close to what you're talking about in that preventative, you know, yeah. me instead of medicine, food is medicine kind of thing. As you know, I've been struggling with the alpha gal because I got bit by the lone star tick that leaves an allergy that you can't eat mammal meat or dairy. So it's kind of shifted my perspective in terms of being a foodie because I always um, identified as a foodie. And now I don't want to say food is my enemy, but for a while I was feeling like food is my enemy because no matter what I ate, it made me sick. I, I'm a little bit past that phase now because I'm more conscious of what I eat and I'm okay with eliminating the things that are bothering me. But I want to go more in a positive direction towards what is serving me and how can I joyfully incorporate that. Yeah. Um, so it was an interesting exercise. I really enjoyed um, being able to spend the time to do it. And now, where are you planning on putting it? Because I think we talked about one of the most important parts yes. after making the well, is to have it someplace where you can see it. I, I had it in my living room last night just because I came in and it actually does match my room, <laughs> so it's great. But, <laughs> but no, I'm gonna keep it in my office because sadly that is where I spend most of my time. Um, so I will put it somewhere in my office where I see it. And I actually think that's good because a lot of these things, even though it doesn't say it on here, I know that a lot of these things are about me not working so hard. Like, I, I've been, I really need to this year figure out what to let go of. Like what, I need to say no to more, I need to, and I well, think there's that's- that pause, There's that pause, right? Like you're going to yeah. pause and process. And so, yeah, I think that word is perfect because it, it bring, gives you that opportunity to do that. It's also that leap of faith. You know, I, I constantly talk with my therapist about how this fear that I'm the only person bringing money into our home and that are we going to have enough um, is an underlying river on everything I do. Well, you're, and, calling, um, you're calling it a fear, Tracy, but it is a reality too. It is a I mean, we can't reality. reality. The, the, the fact is you are responsible for providing financially for your family. So that is a hurdle, not a hurdle, but that is your reality of life and you need to balance, you have to work. What, a, what is an interesting perspective though that she pointed out is that I am so good at what I do that if a particular job isn't working out, it's okay to let it go without knowing what is going to replace that income because it something always comes along because I've, I've spent so many years building this reputation for myself. And that's really hard to, it's hard for me. Like I'm the type of person who wants to say like, okay, I'll, I'll stop doing this project because I know this project is gonna be here. And she's like, just if it's not working, just say, I'm gonna stop doing this project well, and have also, that faith. You're also a very giving person. So yeah. even though you're being paid to give 100%, you're always giving more than the 100. So there's yeah. that too. Like maybe there's a way you can give what's needed rather yes. than, you know, more than what you can or, yes. or at what cost and are yes. you giving that, so, you know. Yeah. yeah. I just saw a post actually recently or maybe a story or something. You've had your business for 19, 20 years? 19 wow. years, yes. Wow, that's incredible. Boy, you I must know. have been a baby when you started. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't i wasn't but that's so awesome that's so great that you know bravo to you you're definitely a, a inspiration in so many ways and i know we talked briefly yesterday i love that you post your um workouts and even your struggles with them but more importantly your workout because you inspire me you know to to kind of kickstart my own journey and i think that's why when i saw that quote I kind of brought it over to you. I didn't know that you would use it, but it is true though. You know, so if whoever's starting out on their workout journey, it is much easier to have a buddy. I know we've done the yoga challenge together and even just knowing that you're doing it makes me want to do it. Well, my, my best friend, right before we got on the show, my best friend sent me a screenshot. She has the same workout bike that I do. 
And so she was like, I just started this one and she lives in Delaware. So we're not, it's not like we're going to do it together, but we're going to do it together. <laughs> so, so here's so. maybe a call out to everybody that watches us, especially the ones that of you that are diehard workout people that we know will just tag us. So we yeah. see it. And then that puts a seed in our head. You don't even have to motivate us. Just say you're doing it and post a picture of you doing it. And I know for me, that will sort of be like, okay, this is your reminder. Go do something healthy, whatever it is, you know? Yeah. Um, and the last thing I want to mention about the polar bear and, and the vision board, they are having um, a charity splash for cast and it's for cast and back to the bays, which is a CC Marine program. Um, January 28th, I think I, they haven't released the location yet, but it, I think it'll be in Orient. So if anybody wants to sign up for that challenge, um, I'll, I'll post a link in my story. I did it last year. It was really fun. I, really I, I, I Actually, Verona and I did it together. Kelly, at, Kelly, our old co-host, she came um, and she didn't do jump, but she videotaped us. And Verona and I held hands and ran into the water together. Oh, yeah. yeah, I was starting last year, so I couldn't do it. Um, but this year I'm pre-signed up. So uh, they are also fundraising. So if you feel so inclined to donate, I'll put a link in there. And if you just want to support the plungers or support in whatever way, both of these organizations are amazing. And if you just want to challenge yourself, you know. Now I will say this, if you're looking for a Zen polar bear experience, that may not be the day to get it, but that yeah. may be a good day to kickstart your journey because there is something in the power of the group and the motivation of, even if you go in for 30 seconds, you know, so look out for the link for that January 28th, put that seed in your head and see if you want to pull your bikini out and, and go in the water. Yep. So anyway, to summarize, we had an amazing NOFO live on location last night. If you missed it, we're going to do it again next year. This is our, our January workshop. Um, we are going to, as Sunita said, try to have one a quarter. So well, we, already um, have we do know that something in May, we did. I was just going to say, we do know that we have something in May. Planned. We do have something in May. We will do our annual celebration again in May. So look out for that. Yep. Look out for that. We'll be selling tickets to that. And um, we're looking forward to just getting to know more of you in person. So thank you for everyone who came last night. It was really a wonderful thank experience. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Um, Tracy, we are we have guests lined up all the way till our season ends in May. So thank you for everybody that wants to come on and talk about the North Fork. I mean, Tracy and I could do this every day, all day, but we have lives slash jobs. Yeah. So Fridays it is. <laughs> <laughs> so Fridays it is. But thank you to everyone who tunes in every single Friday to watch us. A happy New Year, and we'll see you next Friday. Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you. Bye.